Moving on up. Unbelievable. Big wild fish. Just to document where we're at, I'm going to swing to the bridge. All right, here we are, Tim Stump and I down below 299 Culvert, looking at a salmon. He's going to move. Maybe. December 23rd. Look at that, 25, 28 pounder, wild, both of them. Within 75 yards of the footbridge on Salt Creek. December 22nd. Yeah, December 23rd, north of 299 on Salt Creek. Nice adult. Probably 18 pounder. December 23rd. Looks like a spawned out king. Uh, gonna go ahead and pull the snout on this one. Alright, December 23rd. Uh, quite a ways down river from uh, Culvert at 299. Looking at another nice adult, our eighth one of the day. Still in decent shape. December 23rd, 2014. This is our ninth fish of the day. Nice king. 
Here's another carcass. This down from when we saw those fish. Uh, most of them are hanging out where there's some gravel. Hmm. Imagine that. Big king though. Another spawned out king. Just not too far from we saw the last one. December 28th, spawning pair below the culvert at Tilton Mine Road. Water temperature 52 degrees. All right, December 28th, about an 18 pound wild fish just above the footbridge on Salt Creek. Looks like a big male. This is above the bridge, the footbridge on Salt Creek. Another set of spawners. Big male in the brush and a female. Both of them wild fish. That makes number eight for the morning between Tilt Mine Road and Footbridge on Salt Creek. Yeah, January 2nd. 2015 in Salt Creek, about 250 yards above Tilton Mine Road. This guy's, I've been watching him for about a week and he's just about done. Big old male. We're going to let him go for a few days here, see if I'll be back tomorrow. The salmon have gone, trout steelhead have arrived. We're uh, looking at 52 degree water temperature still and probably 25 trout in this small pool right here slash steel head All right, we're below Tilton Mine Road. Got about seven, eight more. That makes 29 so far this morning. Rainbows up to 20 inches. All right, two more, probably 20 inches rainbows steelhead. slash steelhead. Brings it to about 31 fish this morning. In the hole below the walking bridge on Salt Creek, water temperature is still 52 degrees. Been 21 days since it's rained. Yeah, I'm here with Mike Bogue, and he's saying 50 trout may be a little bit of a light count here, but there's a dead salmon carcass in a tree. All righty. Operation going on in here where they've panned and then dumped their debris right on top of reds. There's a big water steelhead slash trout. Probably 20 plus fish under this bush right here. We're just above the culvert on 299 bridge.
down below the 299 culvert and lower Salt Creek. There is a dandy right there, probably 18 inch big rainbow. Lower Salt Creek. Looking at a vulture feeding on a big dead salmon carcass. Lower Salt Creek. Probably 40 fish right here, real close to it, up to 18 inches. We're at the culvert right below 299 on Salt Creek. I'm going to swing around and show the fish diversion, the fishing game installed. It must be working. We got about 120 steelhead slash trout above it and about 85 below to the river trail. Mm. Saving some salmon. End of the day. Is this one over here? About 2,500 fry. More than that, I think. You think so? At least that, huh? All right, here we are in Salt Creek. One week after rescue. This is what happens. This is what's going to happen the rest of the year. No more water.